Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installing plugins in Modal. In this tutorial, we will learn about plugins and how to install a plugin in Modal. To record this tutorial, I will be using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.6.30, Moodle 3.3, Firefox web browser, and working internet connection. You can use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. Learners of this tutorial should have some courses and users in their Moodle website. If not, Please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. What are plugins? Plugins are add-on tools that add special features to an existing software. Moodle has several useful plugins for teachers as well as site administrators. These are available in the plugins directory. Open the browser and type https colon double slash moodle.org slash plugins. The page has filters based on purpose and plugin type. There is also a search box for custom search. There are some numbers displayed at the top right. The text below indicates what they are. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install the attendance plugin. Type Attendance in the search box and click on the search button. We see that there are multiple plugins having this keyword, either in their title or description. Click on Attendance plugin. The description reads, a plugin that allows an attendance log to be kept. To verify that you have clicked on the same plugin that I mentioned, Check the title on the new page. It should say Activities colon Attendance as the title. This plugin allows a teacher to keep an attendance log in Moodle. Before installing any new plugin, ensure that it is available for the Moodle version you are using. To verify, click on the Versions link to see the versions that it supports. Scroll down to see that it is available for our version of Moodle 3.3. Go back to the description link. Read the description to understand whether the plugin fulfills your purpose. It also mentions prerequisites for using the plugin and the usage instructions, if any. We can see that it is being used on a number of websites and has many fans. This authenticates that the plugin is useful and easy to use. You may also want to scroll down and see the questions others have asked related to this plugin. When you are convinced you want to install the plugin, go back to the versions link. Click on the download button. Save the file on your local system. I have already saved it in my system. Open a new tab and log in to your Moodle website as Site Administrator. Make sure that the XAMPP service is running. We are now in the Admin Dashboard. Click on Site Administration on the left side, then click on Plugins tab, and then on Install Plugins link. There are two ways to install a plugin. Through Moodle Plugins directory, and through a zip upload. We will cover the second method only. The first method requires us to have an account on moodle.org. Hence, we are skipping it. Click on Choose a File button next to Zip Package. Click on Upload a File link on the left if it is not already selected. Click on Browse button and browse to the location where you have saved the plugin file. 
select the zip file which we downloaded earlier. Then click on upload this file button at the bottom of this window. Now click on install plugin from the zip file button at the bottom. You may encounter an error in this page. The error message says validating mod underscore attendance error. Click on the cancel link. This is an indicator for us to give write permission to this directory. So open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys. Type sudo space chmod space 777 space slash opt slash lamp slash hdocs slash modal slash mod slash. Enter the administrative password if prompted and press enter. Let us go back to the browser and repeat the process. This time we get the validation successful message. Click on the continue button. Please note that this additional step is required only if you get the above error screen. Now the plugin is downloaded and validated for this version of Moodle. Next, we will get a page with the title Plugins Check. Notice the status information in green here, which says to be installed. Click on Upgrade Moodle Database Now button. This step may take some time. Please do not refresh or close the browser window. When you see the success message, then click on the continue button. We are now in the new settings page. Go through all the settings to see if you need to change any of them. I do not wish to make any changes. After checking, click on the save changes button at the bottom of the page. You may see some warning messages which you can ignore for the time being. To see if the plugin is installed successfully, Click on Site Administration in the left panel, then click on Plugins tab and then Plugins Overview. This will show you the list of all plugins, the ones which were installed by default and the ones you installed. On my site, it shows these many plugins are installed. To see the plugins that were additionally installed, Click on Additional Plugins link above the table. Here there are links to go to the settings and uninstall the plugin from this page. Teachers and administrators can now create attendance for their courses. Once again, click on Site Administration in the left panel. Then click on Courses and Manage Courses and Categories. Click on First Year Maths. In the course category on the left, click on calculus course on the right, scroll down to the calculus course details section and click on view tab to view the calculus course. Click on the gear icon at the top right and then click on turn editing on. Click on add an activity or resource at the bottom right of the area before the topics. Double click on the attendance activity to create an attendance. Enter the name and description as shown here. Expand the grade section. This drop down decides the type of grading used for attendance. If you want attendance to contribute to the course grade, set a maximum points value. The default is 100. I will select grade as none. Let the other options be default. Scroll down and click on save and display button. We are now in a new page. Click on the status set tab here. There are four default status for the attendance. Present, late, excused, absent. Depending on your requirement, you can either delete these or add more. You can also modify the status names if you call them something else. 
I will delete the excused status because I do not use that in my class. A confirmation message box appears. Click on the continue button. Now click on the add session tab. Select the date of the first session you want to add. I will put this as 4th June 2019. Select the start and end time of the session. Note that the time fields use a 24 hour clock. So a 3.15 pm to 4.05 pm class should be 15 colon 15 to 16 colon 05. Type a short description for the session. If you leave the description field blank, the description by default will be regular class session. Click on multiple sessions section to expand it. If your class meets at regular intervals, you can create multiple sessions at the same time. Click on repeat the session above as follows checkbox. If your class meets on certain days of the week, select the days of the week. For my class, I will select Monday. Next option is repeat every drop down. If the class meets every week, select one. If the class meets two weeks from the date of the first session, select two and so on. I will let this remain as 1. This means my class meets every Monday at 3.15 pm for 50 minutes. Repeat until is the date of the last session. I will put this as 30th March 2020. Next, click on student recording section to expand it. If you want students to record their own attendance, fill up the fields in this section. I will skip this section. Scroll down and click on add button at the bottom of the page. A confirmation message appears saying 43 sessions were successfully generated. You may see a different number of sessions if you selected dates other than mine. See the icons next to each session. They let the teacher to take the attendance edit the session or delete the session. Click on take attendance icon for the week that you want to take attendance. You can see a list of all students enrolled in this course and you can mark their attendance. P, L and A are the status that we selected in the settings earlier. Check the radio button just below P to set status for all users to present and mark A only for the absentees. When you have marked the attendance, click on Save Attendance button at the bottom of the page. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about plugins and how to install a plugin in Moodle. Here is an assignment for you. Search for a plugin font family maintained by Projects TSE department. Install the plugin with its default settings. Verify from the plugins overview section that the plugin is installed. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link show. This script has been contributed by Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verkey along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.